All right, y'all. I was trying to figure out what video I could do real quick because I want to put up a video before I go outside today. Oh, that sun's out. Yeah, looks like it's a nice day. And I was just like, oh, I have to get ready and everything. And I'm like, no, you don't. Y'all don't care. <laughs> um, I'm in my like old high school t-shirt. I'm a mess. Besides, I'm not even going to be on camera all that long. Um, just enough to tell you what this video is. I'm going to record me going through my um, vendor's binder. And I was trying to figure out a way to actually have you like over my shoulder a little bit better. And this is what I came up with. So I've got two tripods. <laughs> I've got my one that's got like it's uh, wormy arms and, um, and it's hooked to the other one that's up real high. So I'm hoping that this has a better angle because the last one I was like cutting off parts of the binder, it was awful. So I hope this is better, but I do want to show you <laughs> some that I'm already adding to what we picked out from the other binder. So I'll go through these really quickly. Pork chop, I found out that um, I had given someone, he grew out the seeds I gave him and the variety looks like it might've been crossed. So I'm no longer going to be trading those seeds and I'm going to regrow it to try to save seeds again without it being crossed. So I'm doing pork chop. I grew this one a couple years back. It's amazing and it might be the only repeat. Well, this one's a repeat, but I've never really had success growing this. So I'm gonna try that one again. And this is a multiflora, the most stunning plant I've ever seen. So I wanna grow it again um, and do a taste test for y'all because if I remember cor correctly, it's so delicious, more so than um, Barry's Crazy Cherry. Um, Black Beauty and Blue Beauty. I've never grown those before. Uh, they should make for some interesting taste tests. I've got like a whole pile here. Let me just put you over my shoulder and it'll be easier for me to go through them really quick. I just did Tomato Talk Live last night. And if you saw that, um, we announced that Bill Yoder, who is a very talented breeder, will be on our show next month in March. And I have acquired in a trade a few of his varieties, 1999 Beautiful Ones, Little Red Corvette. They're going in the pile. We also talked about last night, the Virgin, which that's the name, Vor Virgin. Um, and you can see how beautiful that tomato is. Oh, So that's a definite grow. Um, I've talked about that in other videos. Let me just go through these really quickly. Uh, San Penis, because, uh, well, I'm four. And Edder's Big Heart of Color. There's a funny, um, what's it called when you and a friend have like a joke together? An inside joke? Yeah, there's a funny inside joke to the, the name there, Edder. So I, I got to grow that one just because of that. Dirt Klein Doctor, Dorothy's Green, Seahorse, name's awesome. As I was like organizing a little bit. And some of the comments came in. People suggested some things. So I was going back through and I picked some stuff out, picked out those things. So quartz multiflora was one that I saw. I was like, oh, multiflora, I want to grow that. Um, these are a couple from some very recent trades. I don't even think I've called these yet. I think that's a video I have to edit. But Seven Rivers Tricolor from Carolina's Pride. Um, and Butterscotch Stripes from Val's Backyard. Jade Stash. It's got my daughter's name in it, so i got to grow it. Musk Zebra. Never heard of this zebra, so it's going in my zebra collection. Black and Brown Boar. It's a Brad Gates variety, and I've never grown it, and I've always wanted to, so I traded for those, and now I can. These two I saw. Um, I got both of these in a trade. I remember I really wanted this one when I saw the name of it. I was like, oh, I wanted to grow that. Margaret Curtin, and then Isla Capri was one that he said was very sought after, and um, uh, he's in uh, New Zealand and it's a, like a very wanted variety of tomato. Suggestions from the, vi the, the video, that I, the first video I did, going through my binder. Someone mentioned Lucinda. Um, what did they say about that one? Someone also said the Reinhardt's. I knew they were really good. Um, I grew Reinhardt's White Heart last year. And so I went through and I looked at the ones that I have. I have Green Heart. Purple Heart, Chocolate Heart. I've got two two trades that I did of Chocolate Heart because I'm so unorganized. And then um, someone mentioned Purple Zebra needed to go in my zebra collection. So And she wrote Umami on that. So I was just like, oh, I can't believe I 
pass that up. I love umami flavor, like the tomatoes that have that umami going on in them. And then that same person mentioned that it didn't have a lot of greens. I think it was the same person. So I looked through and picked out a few greens, which I'm sure there's going to be a lot of greens in this one that I want to pull out. But Mamarn Vert, uh, Yanton, Amber Room, green one, right? But that's the real name. And then Bow Mango, she specifically said this one was really good and I needed to add it. So those are all those. Now let's get into the binder here. All right, I think this will be good. Okay. So I love stickers, so I always decorate with really cool stickers. These stickers are all from Roots and Refuge. Oh, they're so cool. Sorry, Sorry my daughter's in the background making herself some Made breakfast. sausage. Sausage. Ooh. So this one's gonna be, as if I don't have enough picked out already, I'm gonna put these in the baggie. Since these are all definite and been picked out there. Seeds are getting started. So that's from the first binder. I said I was gonna pick 100 total from both of these. I'm gonna count these and see how many I've got already. Oh, crap. Jade. <laughs> You're a dink. It's my sausage. It, yeah. Your yummy, healthy sausage. Okay, so what did I say, 81? Oh. 83? Maybe. Well, I don't know. It's either 81 or 83. I just counted them up. Um, and if you think I'm only going to pick 20 out of here, that's laughable. All right, so <laughs> let me see. So these have pictures, which is awesome. So you guys can, you know, really take a look. Oh, this one's got a really cool name. These are all, this is like my from Tomato Eden, and I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I didn't get to go to the seed swap that I was supposed to go to, and I had stopped buying seeds because I thought, you know, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of seeds there. And because I didn't get to go, I'm, I placed another order with Tomato Eden. <laughs> so. But I think I'm just going to tell myself you are not choosing from any of those this year. They're not here yet, so, all right, so let's see. What do I want to do? Oh my gosh, maybe I should do hers last. Yeah, let's just skip. I'll, we'll come back to her, because it's just going to be so hard. Now, this is Nika, 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 I can't say that. Um, I grew that one, I grew that one. Some of these need to go in my already grown list. Um, Gargamel. Do I have, I think I have Gargamel already, or don't I? I'm gonna get it out. And then this one is really fun. It's like a cool shaped one. We'll take those out. Um. Oh, this is a stuffer, Vincent Illusion. That's kind of neat. Um, all right, let's. So I grew both of those. That was Zebra White and Heaven Oregon. I grew those last year. All right, up next. I grew all of these last year. Um, this is my Jarson and Kazula pages, which they're picked through. I'm growing all of those. Um, these are peppers, my sweet peppers from, and hot peppers. So we'll skip that. Um, dwarfs, we can skip that. Already got those all picked out. I'm going to do a video on those, the ones I'm growing. Micro dwarfs, that's my micro dwarfs. Okay, so Bounty Hunter Seeds. Let's see, what do I want out of here? Oh, some of these need to go in my dwarf. Yeah, like the fuzz. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's do the fuzz. So the fuzz. Oh yeah, there's Butterscotch Stripes again. Um, the tree bottom ones are supposed to be really good. Um, here's another dwarf. I think I wanna put that in my dwarf's pile. 
we'll just set that aside. Um, yeah, there's a couple of dwarfs in here. Here's another one. Dwarf Sturt Desert P. Dwarf McGee. Yeah. Oh, this one's... Um, yeah. Moby's Cherry. These were gifts with my purchase. Um, tree Bottom. I think I'll do Tree Bottom Streak. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Let's do that. I'll relabel that in a minute. Oh, Worm Bees. That is one. That's This This one's the reason I made this purchase in the first place. It was a gorgeous looking tomato. Jewel Tone. <sighs> Sounds like I really want to, to uh, grow that one. Let me get it out. And then I'm going to pull out these dwarfs, too. Um, I they should go in my dwarfs area, or... Oh, these need to go over here. Okay. What else does she have? Oh, JD which is an F8. That's my daughter's nickname. Um, her uncle calls her JD. JD girl. So I think I'm going to grow that just because of the name. Um, another dwarf I need to take out of there. Another dwarf. Uh, Grungy in the sky. I just like that name. I'm going to get that out of there. And 007. Another Right, let's take those two and then okay, that's it. I'm going to have to go back and look at my haul video to see if there's any in here that I just can't live without. But I think those are pretty good choices. Uh, anything for me? I grew all of these last year. Yeah, I think I put like the ones that I haven't grown on one side and then... But they should all be moved to my other binder in the back. I grew these last year. Yeah, these all grew last year. So these are the ones I didn't grow from Tomato Five Foo. Uh, what we got here? Green. I think I want this one. This is a green one. It's Gross Vert Eight Rows. So green and red. Um, Seagull's Dark Stripes. Oh, man. I don't know. Is Chocolate Lightning a dwarf? Uh, this one sounds fun. It says the word antho in it. That might make for a good taste test. Let's get it out. That one was a gift. Um, antho Vio Valotrot. Uh, okay, let's move on. Now we've got Forgotten Heirlooms. I've already got some that I've picked out from him. What else? Hmm. Any of these look interesting? Has anybody grown these? Again, I want your input. If you see any in here um, that you think I just need to grow, please comment. Let me know. Um, uh, nothing's striking me as I just, and these are all ones I grew. All right, now we're at Delectation of Tomatoes. Oh, boy. I'm growing Mark Twain. I pulled that one out. I forgot to say that. Um, another person commented saying that I needed to grow Mark Twain. It's getting grown. Um, nothing's really jumping out at me on that page. Uh, Ocena Green. This one looks kind of cool because it's a cherry. These are all the ones I grew last year. Yeah, I grew all of those. Wow, I thought this binder was going to be harder to do, but it's actually not. So, um, hmm. 
know. Yeah, I don't have, I thought I had more from Delectation of Tomatoes. I guess I have some already picked out in here, but yeah, that's what I have from there. And I just don't, uh, I just don't think any of them are like strike me as I need to grow. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. All right, let's go back to the ones from Tomato Eden. This is gonna be, we'll just go backwards. This is gonna be the hard, the hard picks. So I'm growing one called Banana Legs. I am not thinking it's going to be anything special as far as flavor, but I like the shape of it and the name of it. So I'm not gonna grow bananing this year, but that might be one. This one looks really, really pretty. It's very, very ribbed. Let me get it out. I think I do want to grow this one. This one's called Juan Cotely de Montbui. That's a mouthful. So when these come, this is how it comes with the just the picture showing. So these were a gift. She wrote gift, but it just has a picture showing. And then on the back, it's got it's like a folded piece of paper. So what I did is I cut the name off. And then I slipped that little piece of paper in the front. So that way, you know, I could see the name with the picture. But let me show you the picture of this one. Isn't that just so pretty? Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely growing that one. I make, I make such a mess. It's fine. It'll get all put back together nicely later. This is one I've already grown. I already grew this one. I grew this one. So a lot of these need to go. All right. What we got over here? Oh, I wanted to grow both of these. They're cherries that look quite... Oh, and the tulips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Black tulip. Let me get the, and again, like I made three purchases already from Tomato Eden. I actually completely forgot one of those purchases. <laughs> so I did a lot of double purchasing. Must have blacked out one night. It happens. So Datterini bleak green, um, Datterini black and green. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. And then black tulip I've pulled out. What else? Uh, I wanted to do green tulip. I liked California tulip. So I have high hopes for these. They were actually, it was actually, it's almost like a stuffer kind of. These don't quite look like uh, the stuffer. So I don't know if when I cut into these they'll be similar or not. But um as far as stuffing tomatoes go, they don't usually have like a ton of flavor. Um, but the California tulip was really, really good. Anything else? They are just, uh, it's they're all just so, so gorgeous. <laughs> I, I've picked a lot of greens out. Okay, let's move on. What's on this page? I, I have a lot of pineapples. Oh, there's part of the lower tree. Um, I'm already doing a bunch of pineapples. This one looks really cool. Asian, because it's got like green gel and the outside's quite different. Mm. Green Ripper, that one looks fun. Um, there's another dwarf, purple fairy dwarf. I think I might have that already. Mm. Chocolate donut. I really like the name of that. I don't know. Black yellow looks really neat too. Um, bronza. Oh, both of these look really cool. Okay, maybe I'll come back to that. What do we have on this one? Um, I hope there's not a whole bunch of glare. Rapunzel Golden Braids. I wonder if that's like a multi-floor. It kind of sounds like it could be. Oh, Iraq's Blush. That's like a total Lauren tomato. 
I should grow that one. Bull's Chocolate Heart. Oh, Dolo Strike. Yes, look, that's another one. It's like the yellow one I pulled out. But like this deep red color. Do you see that? It's ribbed really cool. So, yeah, growing that one for sure. Um, and then Urox Blush. I want to grow that one because... Eighth Wonder of the World. I love the name of that. Let's pull that out. That looks cool too. Okay. All right. Let's... Oh, this one was a gift. Cool. A rocks blush. I didn't even pick that out. All right. Um. What's on this page? So this is the last one. Abrika Zebra. I think I've heard stuff about this. Oh, Chef Guy Getty, or Geta. I feel like I've heard, did Lauren talk about that last night? This is a cool name, Apricot Boot. Is that a fuzzy one? The fruit looks fuzzy. Oh my goodness. Spring the Wire, that's another one that looks like a Lauren tomato. Sergeant Pepper's Bronza, oh. This one looks fun too. Stripenoid. All right, I'm gonna say I can pick two. Oh, uh, I want them to be. I'm gonna do these two. Okay. And then let's go back to that page I said I was gonna go back to. What was I trying to figure out here? Was it this page? Was it this page? I don't even remember which page it was. I think I have enough. I think I have enough. This one looks really pretty too. Buze, Buzal. It's got some antho. Giant kite yellow. Is that like a bigger one? I don't know. Okay. I think <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say I'm done. All right. I don't have anything in the back, right? Yeah, no. All right. What does that make it? What did I say? 81? Let's help see how many I picked out right now. 19, 20, 21. Oh, I'm not. I picked out 21. So that's not too many over 100. So I, th you know what? I'm actually really quite proud of myself. I picked maybe a little bit over a hundred in both binders. That's not bad. Good for me. Yay. Okay. So excited. I thought I was going to have like picked out a bajillion. Oh, I need to enter these into my, I have a spreadsheet that I'm, I'm, I'm working on. So these need to get entered into that spreadsheet. I'm going to go enter these into my spreadsheet and then put them into the baggie. That baggie's ready to go. I'm going to go edit this video and get it put up. And then I'm headed outside to play in the dirt. And there's my cat. Can you not? Sun is out. It's cold, but the sun is out. So I'm going to get some work done outside. But not until I get this video up because I want to get this video up. I have like four other videos I need to record. I hope you guys enjoyed sitting down and going through this binder with me. I, I think they're fun. Absolutely let me know if you saw any in there that you are very interested in seeing me grow. I can add them to the pile because I didn't go overboard. I thought I would, but I didn't. So yay me. And um, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment. Let me know, hey, I saw that one. That one looks so cool. I'd like you to grow it out. See if it's worth it. Let me know. And then until the next one, I hope you all enjoy your day. Bye.